possibly getting closer to choosing a new ambulance provider. The local EMS Council Zoning Committee making a recommendation today. News Channel 6's George Escala tells us Gold Cross applied but did not get the nod. Three companies making the case to take over the Richmond County Ambulance Zone. Augusta saying it wants what's best for residents. We can get uh, adequate response time for our citizens. That's most important. That's why we're here today, so we're looking forward to moving forward. After hearing from the companies and scoring the proposals, the subcommittee recommending Central EMS as Augusta's zone provider. The committee and some commissioners raising questions about Gold Cross response times. I've got emails, I've got phone calls, I have text messages from people, you know, calling saying that they've been waiting for an ambulance for two hours. Central saying it will provide a quality service, but said service costs money and said negotiations will be needed before giving Augusta a price. Make sure the response times are good, the quality is good, and also that's going to take a certain amount of funding to get that done. So I don't have enough data to give you a dollar figure, but we will be coming to that in short order. I think most importantly, we got to get adequate service for our citizens. So whatever it costs, uh, it's going to be my job as well as the commission to sell that to the community. Go Cross finishing last in the scoring. The company saying it wasn't surprised adding the city cut its subsidy from $1.4 million to $650,000. Everybody's so quick to say we'll pay another company more money and they'll do a better job um, when you've got a local provider here in your community that lives here that you don't want to provide the funding to. The full EMS Council votes on the recommendation Monday and that vote could put Central EMS in the city's ambulance driver's seat. In Augusta, George Escala, WJBF News Channel 6.